Black Fate Boxing, Not Invisible, is a documentary that shows how Native American women at the Blackfeet Reservation in Browning, Montana, take up boxing to defend themselves from abduction, rape, and domestic abuse, an epidemic in the Native American communities. Now, our next report by Voice of America brings you more details on this. Take a look. All you hear, I've taught how to defend yourself. What would you do if someone grabbed you? Fight back. Fight back, because why? So you don't get stolen? Yeah, and it might be the last time that we ever see you. That's a reality in Indian country that's going on. At his boxing club on the Blackfeet Reservation in Browning, Montana, Frank Kipp has been training girls and women to defend themselves against an epidemic of abduction and murder of indigenous women. One of these women was Ashley Loring Heavy Runner, who disappeared in June 2017. The relentless search for her by her community and her sister Kimberly Loring inspired the documentary Blackfeet Boxing Not Invisible by Kristen Lapas. It was people grieving, um, it was, you know, people putting um, her wanted poster, you know, the, the missing person posters up all over the reservation. You can't talk about missing people without also addressing drug and alcohol abuse domestic violence, child abduction, human trafficking. I mean, there's all these social problems. Donna Kipp, daughter of Frank Kipp, grew up in the gym. She has competed in boxing tournaments and knows how it feels to be a woman living on a remote reservation two hours away from any large town. We're in a small area and sometimes men prey on you older men men sometimes we have people come here and they don't even live here you know because it's a tourist stop it's literally been generations and generations of women being treated indigenous women being treated this way on the reservation from the outside people the white man from the men in their own community a former probation officer on the blackfeet reservation frank kipp has seen kids struggle in a dysfunctional environment. It's talked to a lot of kids out of suicide, created programs for kids that were, we had vehicle accidents and we were losing kids by monthly. Main thing is I want you guys here. I never, ever close that door. There is no place for young people to go and hang out in a productive environment except for Frank's gym. He's changing the mindset of the young women on the reservation um, to feel empowered, to feel confident. But the reservation has been hit hard by the coronavirus and Frank Kipp had to close the gym. For most kids, it's kind of hard because we, um, we know they want to get back into the gym. And find a mental and emotional outlet. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply Clever.